everyone, welcome back to the latest Tazia News and here are some of the news for you with me, Vanessa. Timor-Leste government hold talks with Australian representative to discuss the plan of pulling the gas pipeline to Timor-Leste. Timor-Leste's Minister of Petroleum and Minerals, Victor Oconsesson Suarez, met with Australian government representative Steve Barrack to begin discussing the channeling of Greater Sunrise Project. During the meeting, Victor asked the Australian government can support the gas pipeline construction project. Relatively to the Greater Sunrise Project and our strategic plan linked with Timor Sea, Greater Sunrise and Pipelines plan to Timor Leste can develop our resource in Timor Leste. We want to pull this to Timor Leste. We have made all efforts and currently we are in discussion stage with all parties. The two governments agreed to this conclusion. The two countries that have this contest mutually agreed on legal documents at the end of this year. Australian government representative Steve Barak said that the Greater Sunrise Project is Timor Leste's economic output and is very important for Australia. Australia's special representative on the Greater Sunrise Project. It's a very important project for Australia. We want to see the Greater Sunrise Project go ahead to be economically viable and to be a productive contributor to the Timor Leste economy. It's a very important project for Australia. Um, and um, I'm very pleased that we've had some very useful and productive discussions with the Minister. Uh, the Minister's doing a, a great job, really, in uh, advancing this project in the interest of Timor Leste, and we want to work with the, the government um, to ensure that this project gets up very, very soon. Timor Leste's Minister of Oil and Minerals acknowledges the presence of the Australian representative to negotiate the gas pipeline to Timor Leste. Therefore, Timor Leste is moving forward into the development stage. Currently, the governments of Timor Leste and Australia are making efforts to draw the pipeline to Timor Leste. The presence of Timor Port is to promote the economic and increase business in the country, say Timor Leste's president. Timor Leste's president, Jose Ramosorta, at the inauguration of the Timor Bay port, in his remarks said the presence of the new port is to promote the economy and also provide competitive services to the entire private sector in Timor Leste. The objective of the Timor port is to facilitate and promote our economy and make it Timor Leste a regional cargo hub. It is therefore important to ensure that the port provides efficient services with a competitive tariff to allow uh, for the growth of business, trade and the private sector in the country. Pour les amis de Bolloré de France, félicitations à vous pour ce travail magnifique. However, Chief Executive Officer Bolore, Philip Lobon, says the aims of this Timor port to improve logistics services in Timor Leste and to respond to current developments in maritime and port world. He also said Timor Bay port has the capacity to handle 200,000 containers per year and accommodates 7,500 ship containers. It's about uh, uh, 200,000 containers per year and the uh, storage capacity is 6,000 containers. Currently we operate two exterior crane with 50 meter reach um, and uh, with a 15 meter key, uh, 700 meter length. So that's the main characteristics. 100 people are working on this site. Uh, some of them are coming from the former facility in Dili Port. Some of them are coming from Bolloré Logistics and uh, the other part has been hired uh, from, through uh, tendering and uh, we, train, we have trained them for six months to be able to start the operation on the 30th of September. The Tibor Bay Harbour will facilitate Timor Leste in maritime connectivity in the Asia region, links East Timor to trade market, and increase Timor Leste's access to trade in goods such as agriculture, tourism, fishery, livestock, and also other industrial goods. 
Timor Port is expected to become a regional transshipment hub in a bid to enhance the country's attractiveness within the Asia Pacific region and accelerate its economic development. The President of the Republic of Timor Leste, Jose Ramzorta, inaugurated the Timor Bay Port on November 30, 2022, accompanied by the Prime Minister of Timor Leste, Tahar Matan Ruak, Bolore Port's CEO, Philip Labon, government officials, and members of the Dili Port community and of the Asia Pacific region. Thailand Embassy in Timor Leste advised Timor Leste's private sector to visit Thailand to strengthen the cooperation between the two countries. Thailand Embassy in Timor Leste holds its first meeting with Timor Leste's Head of Chamber of Commerce and Industry and his team to talk about strengthening cooperation between both countries' Chamber of Commerce and Industries and see an important sector to be implemented in the future. I just uh, reaffirm our commitment to um, continue to, um, cooperations and um, assistance uh, uh, extended, having extended to um, Chamber of Commerce. I, um, I has already uh, proposed um, a number of um, projects and uh, programs to um, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, first, um, I propose to um, organize uh, business um, matching and um, business trip to Thailand uh, to um, invite um, business persons uh, from Timor Leste to explore possibilities, business opp opportunities and possibilities in Thailand. Meanwhile, the Vice President of ASEAN explains Embassy of Thailand will facilitate training for Timorese in hospitality area and making investment and trade in Timor Leste. This is a courtesy meeting to strengthen the bilateral relation between the two countries, private sectors, and the purpose of ambassador visit to request for Timor Leste's private sector to visit Thailand's private sector in order to build up link in various areas such as tourism. Major area of marketing in Thailand is tourism, and there will be training in hospitality area that can be offered to Timor Leste. So far, Embassy of Thailand in Timor Leste work with East Timor Development Agency has provided training for Timorese in hospitality area. Timor Leste Central Bank launches report on economic situation in the country. The World Bank Group in Timor Leste launches yearly annual report titled Timor Leste Economic Report and as a World Bank tool to analyze and update economic situation in the country. The World Bank's representative in Timor Leste, Bernard Harbon, said the report released twice a year and the report showed about the health economic itself. Uh, so, the objective today was to launch our report on the health of the economy. Uh, we do that every six months, and the general impression is that things are on the right track, but the government really needs to f keep focusing on a reform agenda. One of the key issues that we focused on on this uh, month's report was a focus on social protection systems. And your social protection systems are really important to protect young children, to make sure they're eating enough, the elderly, the poor. And we suggest that given that money is running out, the government is running out of money by the end of the decade, that we really need to, uh, the Timorese people need to start thinking about the veterans pension and the veterans fund and what, how that could be transformed to make it more sustainable, more productive and more inclusive. Timor Leste's finance minister, Rui Augusto Gomez, said the World Bank ensured him to launch their report about honoring the past and securing the future. I was invited by the World Bank to launch their report where it focused on the social aspect and I said if we don't have social protection for our society, poverty will increase in the future. Governments, official, diplomat, national and international institution and university student participated in the launch ceremony for the report. Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce will continue to facilitate women entrepreneurs in the business sector. Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce and Industry and UN Women signed a partnership agreement in order to motivate and provide training for Timor Leste women entrepreneurs in the business sector. The head of UN Women mission in Timor Leste said the first step in the implementation of this agreement will be carried out in three municipalities such as Manotuto, Likisa, and Dili. I think we're 
are taking these three municipalities as an example, as evidence, uh, and of course, based on the success of these three municipalities, we'll be very, very happy to expand the program to other municipalities. It is really our goal as human women to reach out to women entrepreneurs across the country. I think we've, UN Women has worked on women entrepreneurs through the history of its existence, but this is our first agreement with CCI, uh, and hopefully it is the beginning of a longer uh, relationship with both women entrepreneurs, but also with the Chambers of Commerce. The Vice President of Women Empowerment Business of Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce and Industry said this agreement marked a history for newly elected President of Timor Leste's Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Jorge Manuel de Araujo Serrano, who owns a major of experience about supporting women entrepreneurs in business sector. The purpose of this agreement is a first step for the CCITL and marked a history for the new president. And we thank UN Women who chooses the CCITL as their partner to carry out for women entrepreneurs in Timor Leste. At least over 100 women entrepreneurs will participate in the training in three municipalities in Timor Leste, which are Likisa, Onotutu, and Dili. Governor says Philippine Central Bank has to raise rates along with Fed to support peso. No, no, the way to look at it is maybe Governor said the Philippine Central Bank will have to raise interest rates to support the peso and prevent the currency's weakness from further stroking inflation if the United States Federal Reserve tightens policy further. Banco Central and Filipinas has raised interest rate by 300 basis points this year to curb inflation that is running at near 14 years high and to support the peso, which has fallen sharply against the United States dollars, underpinned the aggressive United States monetary tightening. If the, the Fed does 50, we cannot have zero, right? So the real question is whether it's 25 or 50. Uh, the reason for that is because the U.S. economy is the only strong, large, rich economy right now. Okay, uh, Europe is having problems. Uh, the Ukraine war is uh, affecting it naturally much more than the U.S. So it has both inflation and very low uh, output, right? China, on the other hand, is st still coping with uh, lockdowns. Banco Central and Filipinas raised interest rates by 75 basis points, largely to match the Fed's three-quarter point hikes this month and is expected to hike again in December. The Federal Reserve is expected to deliver a smaller rate hike in December, but economists polled by Reuters see a longer period of tightening and higher policy rate peak as risks to current outlook. And that's the end for today's everyone. Let's meet again in the next episode. Have a nice weekdays ahead. <laughs>